What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We have Matthew Durant. He has a YouTube of his own, over, I believe, a thousand subs. And Thor, I do not want to murder your last name, so I'm going to leave it at Thor. And both these players are very far in our tournament. Still X1, I do believe. And um, we should see a pretty good game out of this. So it looks like Thor will be indeed going first here. And starts with a Bumuku, a good sign of probably Metal Foes rather than Magic Spectres. Uh, usually the case, but a very good sign from any Metal Foe player. Is Blair undefeated? Yes, Blair, I believe, is one of our undefeateds. Finally topping, guaranteeing a top on the Zodiac Tournament Series for the first time ever, Kyle. And uh, Steelin popping on down, so indeed Metal Foes. Uh, Kieran in the scale, gonna pop the Kieran in scale. Um, this means that uh, when he places the scale that's gonna pop Umbuku, he's likely done popping. So, like, uh, if you had a Ghost Ogre in your hand, it could actually be very devastating, because uh, this is kind of a tell. And uh, we talk about tells with metal foes. But it looks like we're going to be going much further off here than before. Uh, definitely very nutty by Thor. Indeed, Kyle. Why do you use Kyle Jones 29 instead of the card guys sometimes? Just two accounts for following different things. Mithrilium already. Okay, so maybe he has some cool plays. Oh yeah, I heard Magnet Reverse closed it out. Man, nobody thought uh, I was serious. Like, when I brought that tech up and then it boosted, they thought I was like trying to manipulate the market. Elvis played two in his deck. It just won the uh, ARG from what I heard. Very, very cool. So only Pendulum Summoning Kieran. Very interesting. Uh, did his scales just not allow for anything? Or is that, was that the best setup? I can't look. Was everything high? Besides the Kieran itself? And Desires going off. So we're going to be starting with 7 to try to counteract this Kieran. Uh, if there's a Twin Twister and a 1 card Force on Kieran, this, uh, there's 4 cards left that could be very devastating, depending on the cards. Depends what Matt's playing and if he wants to reveal anything here. It looks like he is going to try to play... So he will be revealing what he's playing, and from the looks of it, it's Paleozoics. So there is life. He is saying, uh, I'm not deterred by whatever is going on here. Paleozoics have a hard time answering Kieran as well. Ugh, weird. Every deck has a pretty hard time countering fit Paleozoics. So Olenoides is what that looks like. Indeed it is. Uh, am I going to try to deck profile? All the decks are already up, uh, but Dan Cunningham of Team Zodiac Top, so we'll be doing that live deck profile. And besides that, uh, I may take a peek and see if anything was that interesting, but probably not since the deck lists are already public knowledge. No point in really doing a not live profile unless they send it in with notes. Uh, when people send in notes with tournament reports, that's typically when I do them from ARG. So a second Illinoides, dealing uh, pretty well with these scale pops and making them useless. So there's not going to be a Pendulum Summon most likely. Ooh, a counter though. Never mind. And a chain to counter, so everything uh, going in a pretty interesting direction. Ooh, and a maxi! 
So there's not going to be much more defense this turn. What a chain of events. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, probably... Ooh, this is interesting, though. He can't... He probably doesn't pop combination unless... Yeah, you've got to pop your scale, right? And there goes the uh, scale indeed. So we'll get that in phase search to be able to try to set proper scales next turn. There's a quaking, so this will be stuck, although uh, fusions don't care too much about that usually. Quaking, very good. And then tribute something back for Kieran. Warding, oh! Okay, this is a game. Unfortunately, I need to blow my nose. Been cleaning the house, boys. Dynamiscus, too, gonna be able to banish. Wow! Not caring really too much about giving the other card off Maxi, because uh, the Toad is gonna be the one for one there uh, on the extra free card. So, Maxi becoming a plus one. But not doing perhaps enough as we're going to see uh, him get the true plus one now off uh, Opabinia and be able to activate his cards from hands as well and have a card of his own unaffected by monster effects. Kind of their counter to Kieran. Are you all able to hear the music? I don't see much moving on X Split. If I'm just sitting here and there's heavy breathing, that'd be unfortunate. I don't see anything moving on the music volume, though. Anybody there? So an Orical touching on down though. And Bismagir is going to be live for the combo, so you kind of have to pick your poison here. And Pikaia going to be able to draw too with a chain of Illinoides, which is dangerous. Uh, so good. He knows to bring it out and attack. Going to be building his field.
All right, so uh, Eno Malakaris, definitely very effective, but uh, Ori Calc not even going to be able to hit back either. And depending on his target, uh, a Dynamiscus would be huge, but he has no cards to feed Dynamiscus. Now this can destroy the Bisma gear, giving the Enfei search and leaving almost no options, but still, Metal Foes seem pretty in this. This is very, very back and forth. Very good. Gold Driver going to be able to attack over for uh, 700, but solidly in control, it seems, uh, with the Paleozoics. Both resources just cut down so much. There is extra, extra at cards. I believe that's a four face-up uh, if um, Thor can get to a scale ever, but with all these resources, it just seems so good. Ooh, a good top deck. It is Swap Frog. Whoa. And with a graveyard loaded for Ronin Toad, and finally we're going to see Totally Awesome probably touching on down, or a second Opabinia, depending. Opabinia going to be able to... Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a second, possibly, Op Opabinia. But I don't know. So activating, getting a free two. And now Ronan will get to start cycling. So with the trap, he can make an Opavinia, search, and then, uh, right? Or, oh, this effect, it's a hard once per turn. Hmm. I wonder what he'll be doing here. Ooh. And there is the surrender. Oh, man. Wow. That swap proc really th got things going for Matt. Uh, so Matthew Durant doing pretty well. We always like to take this time to thank ARG, Troll and Toad, and PPG. Without them, these tournaments would not be possible. And we have free prizes for no entry. That's right. You all get to enter for free. You never will be paid for on our tournament series. And all prizes are provided by sponsors.
I still haven't entered one. Didn't you enter one of the old ones, Raid? You and your tellers? Pasta that. Take in, RG. Oh, eating some pasta. Nice. So, Bumbuku, Kieran, and then Silvered. Silvered gonna pop Kieran. So, very, very good opener again. But can uh, the Paleozoic Xyz play back at Kieran, uh, basically rendering him uh, unable to counter the deck? Or will Kieran's interruption early seal this? And what anti Paleozoic stuff may we have? Uh, Vigenzo Pendulum Summon is this one, Ogre. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy, the command, uh, 098. Smacking the mackerel. <laughs> oh, man, I actually had uh, some really good sushi the other day, and uh, I, I had the chance to try mackerel for the first time, but didn't. I think I'm going to try it when I go back. I'm going to try a lot of new stuff, because that place was really good. Uh, yeah, we just started this as Game 2 uh, Hazard uh, 10X, and if you guys donate today, uh, all donation incentives will be live. Uh, there will be, uh, packs back, uh, raffles, and, uh, if you donate anything, uh, you get, uh, two raffles, so be or, uh, a raffle for every two dollars, my bad. Uh, five dollars is three raffles, and, uh, ten dollars will extreme this, uh, extend this stream another hour, and I'll start doing casual duels slash, uh, we can play meta duels, we can, uh, do a lot of things. Uh, you basically control the stream for an entire hour if you donate 10. If you donate 5, you can uh, have us build the deck. And we can duel with it in either rated or uh, viewer battle. And uh, $2 earns any viewer battle, but I'll be choosing the deck. All these will be uh, live incentives and throughout this feature match. So just let me know. Please explain in vivid detail why Power Tool Dragon is bar down the absolute best to Sulkin Dragon. I don't know that I can argue that. Wow, what a setup though. Three back row. Uh, I didn't get to see what was said. I assume a full metal foes and a counter. Or combo, my bad. And uh, a Kieran, a Volflame to be able to bounce back to hand. And a Mithrilium. But again, Desires. So starting off very similar to last game. Will we have a set five on top of it? How do you get Percy? Uh, I believe it's been in the pen topic of Zodiac. Uh, probably will be again if it's not right now. There's a dupe frog summon. Not the best of signs unless there's our creature swap. Even creature swap would be somewhat subpar here. A uh, bounce. You have no monster. Ooh. Now, uh, I think you just bounce the Vol Flame though, and bounce the Dupe Frog. Prevent Dupe Frog from being destroyed. The normal summon's been eaten up, and that's exactly what happens. But good try. I've got to give it to him. Now the Smith Theridium's just gonna get to go off too. If you have no other options, you still try to let your opponent misplay since they already know what you're playing. This deck the best at recycling uh, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. I, I'm trying to call him Gamera right now. Uh, I know it's Gamma Seal. It's like Gamera. Yes. I love my Kaijus, man. The movies, anyways. So there is set four. Will there be set five, or do we have two Dynamiscus? So playing back through uh, all odds here. No deterrence. Desires banish three dupe.
I think that this one's getting pretty locked up pretty fast here, in my opinion. <laughs> the Metal Post player has four back row to the four back row of a Paleozoic player, along with two scales and three, but I could be dead wrong. Uh, and the two in hand. So look at this. These six are matched. And it's just going to keep going. Untargetable, undestroyable 1200s. Oh, going for Totem Bird. So negation online also. Maria gonna go fast here, sending any trap he wants. I don't think you negate that one. Um, I don't think there's any reason to even consider it. You still got your Kieran bounce also. Quaking is the scariest threat. I think you should have saved that as bait, but until there was a one live. Because now any serious threat like Dynamiscus, uh, Dynamiscus is now going to be negated. Quaking would get negated. And there is the first Quaking. Now if he has double Quaking, it's good. Double Quaking would be the answer here that he needs. Hey, and there it is! And thanks for that follow. Wow, double Quaking Mirror Force. Sorry for that being covered. And there you go. <laughs> That is pretty insane, and now the traps from Graveyard are live as well. All before Kieran can ever bounce, really, it looks like. Can't bounce your own, right? Yeah, one of your, your opponent controls. So Full Metal Foe is going to try to leave something in face-up defense here. But you can fuse with face-down, so I don't think there was a reason to shotgun it on this chain besides stopping a summon. Which, pretty smart. I think stopping the summon's pretty good. So the best efforts laid down. Uh, that last face down is going to be able to be shuffled back. Or he can start putting his own cards like Kieran back in hand. Ooh, another full Metal Foes Fusion. So going to be able to keep turboing out this battle phase by tributing the Merillium to bring back another and bring back another. So two another ones. Uh, continue with You don't chain and put it in attack mode because it would just get flipped down. So we had to have the double to uh, be able to do this play, but this is very good. So 5,000 damage is going to ram in if this isn't real. And Mithrelium going to be bouncing that uh, face down possibly to hand. But I don't know if you you need to. Maybe you have better use of... Uh... Nah, Totem Bird's used effect. There's no point to return it. Um... Yeah, you might as well try to get rid of the resource, right? And put stuff in your extra deck back for free. And your deck. Really doesn't do anything to most of the traps because they'll just get set again. But getting your own resources back, very important here. Yeah, the reason uh, that there was no... Uh, why the chain was to store the the quaking was so that another paley soaked and it gets summoned back here so another full metal post set i believe this loads alkahist uh and now four cards in hand to four back row the uphill battle will probably uh resemble a game three coming our way depending Ooh, twin twisters Ronan going to grave. The fight is still here. Gonna force that full metal pose. If he wants it to do anything. But, uh, That's dangerous. And hitting combo. Ugh. Was that on purpose? Oh, wow! So he knows that they're gonna chain the combo, flipping it face up. Ain't gonna get this trap. Mm -hmm. 
So Ori Calc on board now. Yeah, I think that was definitely a mistake to uh, chain the trap. And oh, an emptiness. With neither of these monsters able to climb over this, best card in the game may seal it. So there is a GG going to game three. Oh, whale. So will Paleos be moving on, or will... Metal foes. All X2s will get their invite, though, so reasons to keep playing. And we are doing top 16. I just want to make sure these guys are X1. Make sure I'm hyping the right guys. Yes, Thor is X1, which means Matthew should be X1. And yes, Matthew is X1. So both these players, 5 and 1 in our tournament right now. The uh, tied for biggest ever Zodiac tournament, 256 people. guessing he's either drawn a similar hand or just nothing that can do anything for him seems like he's saying it's unfortunate uh setting four will the upset play will there be a danko Reka? and a bambuku again so gonna be able to get to kieran for likely a third time Oh dear, anti-spell though. So 1200, it's gonna be a very halted turn then. So anti-spell, a very, very good card to have against Metal Foes when there's no out, and apparently there are no outs right now. So gonna be able to try to get resources is uh, Matthew. Time Wizard should be played, it does out a lot of things. Silvered uh, going to Graveyard for uh, Mithrilium. I'm going to have to... Well, Dynamiscus is going to take care of that real quick. No full metal foes available for Chain. Pitching another anti-spell. Going to try to dig for more outs here. And pressing in 2,900 damage this turn if nothing happens. And a Quaking, so these are going to be stuck set uh, until Fusion or something else happens. And Dynamis is going to come back for free. Finally a level 2 on board. Going to be able to actually clear both of these slowly into the Pendulum Zone, or uh, the face-up extra deck because their defenses are so low. <laughs> this 1200 doing something. These tentacles, boys. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Now, the true question is, will Matt ever see a Swap Frog? Or a level 2 he can summon. And... 
unbanishing Mithrilium just to get it going. Interesting. Oh, all three anti-spells. So that's why he said, what the actual heck. Uh, he had three anti-spells in his opener. So going to be able to clear both monsters and then make something like Opa Binia. Not bad. A Twin Twister still fully answers this. So do you make a Toad and just try to seal it with a big ol' attack? Because you'll have nothing to tribute uh, besides the Toad itself. But you'll be able to start summoning Swap Frog, Dupe Frog, etc. Yeah, I think you go ahead and summon Dupe. But I could be wrong, I don't play this deck enough. Opabinia could be very good here as well. You need some defense. It looks like Totally Awesome is the choice though. And so he'll be able to pitch a trap to Grave, start his uh, summons back if that trap is anything like Reckless, Wabaku, etc. So Doom Frog going to be able to uh, lock opponents out from uh, attacking. Ooh, here is one of the best cards he could have seen in this situation, Gofu. Even if it's just for defense, but uh, nope, it is definitely going to... Uh, Oh man, this is all free advantage. If there's nothing to stop this uh, 8, uh, Thor is right back in this. Gonna be able to attack over totally awesome. And then, uh, well, I guess he has to hit the dupe first. So, depends. Uh, he can't really just activate an effect willy-nilly. Uh, yeah, so Battle Face, he's gonna, he's gonna realize, Oh no, I gotta attack the dupe frog! I think he just realized that. Oh no. Yeah, there's uh it's pretty hard to answer. And he attacks it anyways. Oh my goodness. This is gonna put a swap frog into his hand. Not being able to activate the effect, uh because it would just get taken to be able to summon luster. Wow. I was thinking we might see something like Scarlight. But, ow, wow, wow, wow. And pitching. I don't know why he grabbed Swap Frog instead of Ronin then though. I guess he can just do this. Still, I think Ronin should have been I guess if there's fodder for running now, because there would have only been one. That's extra fodder. Now these frogs gonna go to work. Yeah, Robin Sharman is indeed in my inbox right now. And uh, Maria going to work, going to be able to just keep summoning stuff here. Looks like swapping the 1200 in attack mode would have been... Maybe the most damage that was going to happen anyways. So he's going to be able to overlay here into another totally awesome. These Twin Twisters are going to feel mighty safe. Oh, Cat Shark, never mind. Going to do 500 more damage than what I was talking about. I feel like another totally would have been really good here. Oh, Noral Summon. My bad. This is why uh, not knowing hands is huge, but this will be game. Most likely. Oh no, he's at 8,000. Matthew is at 68. Definitely all the right plays going into order here. Just gotta avoid that timer. Oh, 
Oh, Digusto Phoenix, he could have had game, right? Or is this still game? That's 3,000. It's 100 short. Oh, the Ronin Tone and the Swag! Oh, okay. And there it is. I think that's exact, if I'm not wrong. That was 49 plus the 1 plus the 3. Matthew taking it in a short fashion of a long three-game uh, win in that turn. Oh, my goodness. So, uh... Anti-spell, triple anti-spell is, I guess, how you still beat metal foes when they try to go for Kieran. Thanks for watching, guys.